Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It is your boy Crystal back again with some more Monster Hunter Stories 2 Nuzlocke. Um, last time we found a godforsaken Plessioth out in the Sandona Barrens. And unfortunately, very unfortunately, Spongebob the Royal Ladroth lost his life in that fight. So, we swapped him out for the only other power monster, Tank the Absaros. So, today we're going to go check out the Desert Cave, per, uh, per the command of Roberto. Let's knock it out. Brute Tig Rex is, is asleep. We got Crab. Yeah. <laughs> what, what the hell was that? Uh oh. It was the uh, Cephalos. Head into the desert cave. What have we got in here? Is it crab? More cephalos. A lot of cephalos. What's up here? Purple Ludroth, let's let's fight one. <sighs> let's get the shell casting net out. And let's let's, let's just attack these Hermitar. Oh no! No! God. I didn't realize they were all attacking Havoc. I even thought, hey, I should switch Havoc out. I'm a moron and a fool. I have just lost yet another honesty. Let's bring out Ramen. Havoc out because I sent everyone back out on an expedition. It's our clutch moment, dude. Man, tonight's just not my night. Jesus. Now, let's ride out. Uh, Purple Ledroth is enraged. It was doing power. I'm gonna guess technical. Okay, good. I'm just gonna go for the Ken Shed and let's break the summit. Yeah. 
Roberto's going for a meaty hit. Probably on Blood Drop, so let's try and knock out the Hermitar. Twelve hundred damage. That's what we love to see. Purple blood drop is down. All that's left is this Hermitar. And I don't care. I'm using a Mega Potion. No, I'm just gonna use a Potion. Potion on Ramen. I'm such a moron. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until the end of the dungeon to to swap swap out havoc to lay havoc to rest. Let's make Rom in the lead. Rom is nice because you can move very quickly. makes uh, traveling through these big open caverns easier but you can't really turn like that's the best I got let's see yeah just making sure I'm not missing anything Sonic bombs. Those will be helpful going forward. Let's see. What is this chest got? Life powder. Spill the beans. Why did a Plesioth appear in the Barrens? Be patient, and you'll find out soon enough. Does a Plesioth have something to do with the desert? Want to chill it with the questions? The answer is there, if you listen to the monsters. Listen to the monsters? Look, I know they don't actually speak, but it's possible to find out why they came somewhere and what's making them act all weird. If you pay attention to them, is what I'm saying. Old Red could hear the voices of monsters, though. Red? Who's that? My buddy's grandpa. He was a genius writer, and my friend here has definitely inherited that. Red, I feel like I've heard that name before. What's gotten into you? And what's with that face? Hmm. Hmm? Do you mean like, the Red? You... you... You knew him? No, dude, only the name. He's known amongst hunters as a pretty radical rider. Wowza, buddy! Even hunters know about your grandpa! So your Gramps was Red. The far-out rider who could vibe with monsters. <laughs> and I'd love to vibe with monsters. In that case, you better up your game, kid. Okay. Let's go see if you figured out the answer. All right. I don't. Ha I still don't have anything that can 
break rocks. <laughs> I'm wondering if I'm ever gonna get something that can break rocks. Let's see, crab. I wish you could get like the Hermitars and stuff at like Hermitar as a as a monster, like Damio Hermitar. Shogun Sanitar, all that. Alright. Cephadrome. Speed? Of course it's speed! Let's see... Let's get Frolium out here! Let's... Let's start working on that... back. I'd love to get some Noxious Poison going. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. Well, let's attack the tail too. Let's join the Verdo and going in on that tail. No, it's going right on. Wait, no. Wait, I can use items while I'm while I'm riding. Yeah. Never mind. Except you're move through sand like swimming in water. So, whenever monsters are on the ground, just like in the main games, or a Sonic Bomb. Tail slap and brilliant. Ground slash P shatters that tail. Now it's enraged. I'm guessing technical. Yes. Let's go for the kinship on the back. Jaggy strike. Almost broken. Alright. Roberto's going for the dragon tremor. Breaks that back. Start working on the body. I'm gonna want to switch over to Glacial Gun Lance just because I feel like Pierce is what's good. I feel like he's gonna go dive again. Yeah. No, it's not. Well, since I need to switch over to. Impact anyway. I'll conserve an item and go for a blast. Didn't play the animation, but it worked. Back up. Still enraged? No. So we're back to speed. Let's see. I want you to go for 
be drill. Go for a technical attack, and we can double attack this thing. Free enraged. Run right on, and I'm just gonna go straight for the Kinship. On it. Well. You're enraged. Let's go for let's go for one attack. Just to power up. So. Just because you're dying here soon. Another good jaggy strike. Body's broken. Still not good. Almost <laughs> one off of 800. That's a double attack. <laughs> that was a breeze. A little closer to the truth. I can't believe I let Havoc die. <laughs> Uh The reason there was a Plesioth in the Barrens was the Cephadrome? Correct, Amundo. The Cephadrome drove the Plesioth out of its territory. In its usual habitat, the Plesioth wouldn't have troubled us. You're making me feel sorry for it. It's the natural order of things. We're all just trying to survive. It's necessary you, Roberto. for survival? Monsters compete for territory, dude. Then they devour one another to satisfy hunger. It's just the way it is. Like yep. or lump it. I gotta start so using that. Like or lump each it. Other simply because they want to live. Yes, right. Navi Roo. <laughs> and it's the same with hunters. We take down monsters so that humans can survive. We all take the lives of others to prolong our own. That's the truth, and there's no changing it. You just gotta roll with it. It's just my opinion, but I think we stand to gain a lot from cooperating, you know? Riders can bond with monsters. Surely you can groove with fellow humans. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's work together to solve the mystery of the pits and clear Wrath of suspicion while we're at it. Well, let's head back for now. Roberto? Thanks, dude. Sorry I said hunters and riders could never get along. Hey, no worries. It did hurt my feelings a bit, though. <sighs> Well, as an apology, I could offer you the fine fungus specimen my buddy found earlier. How totally rad of you. Thanks. Seems like you got your gramps smarts after all, huh? <laughs> Let's see. Huh? Oh, there's a bug on it! I forgot Roberto was afraid of bugs. Right? It slipped my mind, but Roberto gets totally grossed out by bugs. Man, it'd be a shame if I add my Narcilla to the team then. Yeah, I'm just gonna warp back. Let's see, let's uh, hop back to Lelution. Are we just gonna go straight into a cutscene? No. Well, before we do that, let's lay, let's lay the fallen to rest. Let's see, management. Uh, I'll go into management sees favorite, and Havoc was such a good monster. Um, Havoc, you were you were an incredible monster. You were you were one of the best. Like honestly. Um not really much more to say about it. 
I I really love Yangaruga, and I was hoping that you'd make it to the end. I can't believe you. I can't believe Tank outlived you. Fuck, man. All right. Good night, Havoc. You're level 24 at your death. Let's go to the Scrivener's Lodge. Well, you know what, actually. Let's go to the Scrivener's Lodge next time. Um, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you all need to do. Have yourselves a damn good one. Later.